anybody in this room not a morning person? Not a morning person? Come on, let's just be honest this morning. God did not birth me and put me on this planet to be a morning person. My wife woke up this morning. She rolled over. And she just starts, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be, there you go, you guys got it now. This is the day has made. I will rejoice. You're almost done now. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. All right. And so it required me to say to myself, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I've got good news for you today. I want to read you a couple of things. In the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, it says that you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. I want to read that one more time for those of you that haven't yet woke up. You shall declare a thing and it will be established for you. If you have the ability this morning to declare a thing, the Bible says according to the word that cannot lie that if you declare it, that it shall be established for you. I declare for you today that you shall be healthy. I make a declaration today that God's angels will keep charge over you. I make a declaration over you today that your job shall be safe. I make a declaration today that your provision shall be safe. I make a declaration today that the enemy will not win. I make a declaration today that strongholds are coming down. I make a declaration today that we're going to praise the Lord. I make a declaration today that viruses do not have control over your body. I've made a declaration over my house today that no plague shall come near my dwelling. I've made a declaration over Covenant Church today that no plague shall come over our dwelling. I've made a declaration over the state of West Virginia that no plague shall come near our dwelling. I've made a declaration over the United States of America that no plague shall come near our dwelling. You shall declare a thing and it will be established for you. I ask you today to open your mouth and make a declaration, amen, that no plague shall come near your dwelling, that God will protect you, that God will provide for you, that you shall be healthy, that you shall have provision, amen, that you shall not make a declaration declaration today that fear is a liar. I make a declaration today that sickness is a liar. I make a declaration today that you shall lie down and rest in peace. I make a declaration today that you're going to spend time with your family and be happy. I make a declaration today that we bind the spirit of depression, that we bind the spirit of fear. I make a declaration today that if God be for us, who shall be against us? Come on. Do I have your attention just yet? I make a declaration today that God is above all things and not beneath things. I make a declaration today that by His stripes you are healed. I make a declaration today, amen, that God shall provide all of your needs according to His riches in glory. I make a declaration today that the Word of God cannot lie. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established, amen. Come on, I put a hedge of protection around me around my wife, around my children, around my church. And we say today that we are healthy, happy, satisfied, safe, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and on our way to heaven. Come on, take 10 seconds and make a declaration in your life. Come on, I can't hear you just yet. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Church, I'm telling you that if you will open your mouth and declare a thing, you're going to have to use wisdom, but there's nothing for you to fear when you declare a thing based upon the Word of God. I make a declaration today that the Spirit is going to be stronger after the storm than it was before the storm. I make a declaration today that there will be more salvations after the storm than there was before the storm. I declare today that there will be more revival after the storm than there was before the storm. Listen, come on. 
Can I just tell you something this morning? The devil just thought to himself, I'm going to keep the church quiet and keep them home. Honey, he forgot that your war room is at home. Amen. He forgot that your secret place is at home. He forgot that the place you know how to get down on your bended knees is at home. The devil doesn't know what he's doing, but he's starting a war in the kingdom of God. And the body of Christ is about to rise. And revival is about to fall. I declare it. My God, I declare a thing in the house of God this morning that breakthrough is coming. Revival is coming. Salvation is coming. Glory, Shekinah is coming. Declare a thing. Wow. Wow. I'm supposed to be making an announcement right now. But the glory of God is wanting to assure His people this morning that He's in control. Jesus Christ is wanting to remind us this morning that He is still in control. He's not lost control. Ah. I declare this morning, I declare that the Word of God is still alive. I declare to you this morning that the threat may be real. The virus may be real. I, I, I accept that this morning. It might be real, but I have a declaration because the Word of God says you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. So let me make an announcement. COVID-19 might be real. Yeah, I accept that. But I also accept that the blood of Jesus is real. I accept that by His stripes I am healed is real. I accept He sent His word and healed you is real. <laughs> I accept that Psalm 91, 10 and 11 says that no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For He shall give His angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. I declare this morning over my home, over my family, over my church family, over this state, that he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in your ways. No evil shall befall you. Somebody say, somebody say, preacher, how, how do you know that? Because the word can't lie, and if I declare a thing, if I declare a thing, the Bible says it shall be established for me. Woo. I got good news for you this morning. I agree with wisdom. I think we all need to use wisdom. Woo. But before I will lie down in fear, I'll stand up covered by the blood of Jesus. Woo. I make a declaration in this house today. I make a declaration that you can be healed in the name of Jesus. I make a declaration that you can be saved in the name of Jesus. I make a declaration that the enemy would not shut your mouth from being able to give your praise to your God in the name of Jesus. Come on. I got I got word for you. Man, I just feel like declaring something this morning. I feel like you need to speak over your job right now and say it's going to be safe in the name of Jesus. Not only will it be safe, I'm going to get promotion. I'm going to get a raise in the name of Jesus. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you. Well, Pastor, I, I feel sick today. I declare for you that by His stripes you are healed. Pastor, I've been uneasy about all of this and I just can't sleep. Declare that you shall lie down and in peace you will rest. Make a declaration. I'm not supposed to be preaching right now, but I'm going to take back what the enemy's trying to steal. Let me say it again. We should use wisdom. But too many believers are speaking things that are not of God. We're, be we're believing prophecies of the devil. We're believing prophecies of the enemy. Come on. We cannot believe prophecies of the enemy. Whew. Too many people believing. The Bible says, whose report you're going to believe. Bring me that Bible over there, Pastor. Bring me that Bible. No, my Bible. It's not a microphone. Bible, man. B-I-B-L-E. 
Bible. Y'all have one of these? Do you know what it says? It doesn't do you any good to have one and not know what that it says. But see, I know that if I take that word and everything that I have, if I establish it upon that word, if I establish my marriage, if I establish my children, if I establish my home, if I establish my job, if I establish my company, if I establish my sight and my hearing, if I, whatever I establish upon this word has got to continue to rise. It cannot fall. It's got to be established. Why? Because God said if you declare a thing, anybody got that yet? If you declare a thing, I declare I'm from the south. I'm from southern West Virginia. They used to walk around all the time saying, well, I do declare. I do declare. There's a new statement we're going to make today all day long. Well, I do declare. I am blessed and highly favored in the sight of God and in the sight of, well, I do declare. Why are you so happy? I'm favored in the sight of God and in the sight of, I do declare. I do declare. Woo. Hey. Why didn't you go to the store and buy 18,000 rolls of toilet paper? Well, I do declare I don't need that. Amen. I... Hey, why, why aren't you panicked? Well, I've done and declare. Well, I do declare that Jesus is in control. What do I have to, what do I have to fear? Amen. Why, do, why should I fear man? Why should I fear the things of the world? When Jesus, well, I do declare. You wanted the new t-shirt, there you go. Well, I do declare. I do declare. I do declare. I got good news for you. Are you, are you still listening to me? Just, just another minute. I've got good news for you. All last week, all this week, and as long as the storm is raging, you might not be declaring anything, but your elders and your pastors, they have already declared war. They, they have already declared that Satan is a liar. They have already declared that the saints of God are victorious. They have, they have already declared. Now, we're not going to be foolish and we're not going to be crazy, but we're going to trust in the Word of God, and God is going to protect those that belong to Him. Amen. I don't know about your daddy, but my daddy is very protective, and he will not let harm come to me. Amen. How? How do you know that, preacher? Listen to me, church. You've got to believe the word. No evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. I don't have time today. I don't have room in my house for no sickness, no sin, no disease. Why? Because there's too much of the word running around. There's too much of the word being proclaimed over my house. Amen. There's, listen, why in the world does my wife wake up in the morning knowing I'm not a morning person, roll over and say, this is the day. Because we've declared the word over our lives and we can't help but to have the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so this morning. Take about 20 seconds and let the redeemed of the Lord say so this morning. Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Make a declaration. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so.